great days mga ka-reviews. My name is Yanyan. Trolls are unique collector's toys because every 40 years or so, it becomes popular or in demand again. It was a hit in the 1920s, in the 1960s, and then in the year 2000s. But here in the Philippines, a troll brand that became a hit was this Rust Trolls. But did you know that in the 1915s, a guy named Thomas Dam started it all? Well, let's unbox a reiteration of his beloved good luck troll or this, like a trolls. So as you can see, I have a lot of Rust Trolls in the 2000s. But I realized as I joined numerous troll groups from around the world, the Ross brand of trolls were not the original trolls that I have come to realize. It was a Thomas Dam Trolls from Denmark. He was a struggling baker that was hit by unemployment until he made his famous toy to give to his daughter and the rest was history. We never quite knew about his troll brand in the Philippines because of the Asian marketing prowess of Russ that were made in the USA in partnership with a company in Hong Kong and China. And Thomas Dam really fought hard for patenting his beloved trolls until he died and never realized that dream. Well, at least it came to fruition in this decade. By mid-2000s, DreamWorks Animation licensed Thomas Dam's trolls signifying a rebirth with the movie's trolls. And this new generation of mass-marketed dam licensed trolls came and a resurgence of the troll craze started to emerge. And a Danish company based in Gyol in Denmark partnered with Thomas Dam and DreamWorks Animation to create their take of Denmark's beloved dam trolls. And these are quite hard to get since these trolls are only marketed in the European countries but luckily, I purchased two of them. Let's try to look at their boxes. The box is well presented, quality and durable with the actual picture of the troll inside. On top, it's the name of like a troll. Maybe the English meaning is good luck trolls. We also have the picture of Thomas Dam. And let's read this. During his life, Thomas Dam in Gyol created many unique pieces of art. The good luck troll and his best known work achieved world fame in the 1960s. That's Thomas Dam. And then there's I'm back. <laughs> And then JFK became acquainted with Betty Miller's Good Luck Troll. There are several stories about the trolls, a good luck charm. E.g. the story of Betty Miller. Maybe Betty Miller is a first female pilot and she's holding a troll, a damn troll. And then there is the description of the troll itself. It has a brass collar and black hair. It is made by Bisomer in Europe. The Good Luck Troll is made of special ceramics and genuine ship skin hair. The hair may differ slightly from the picture. It's a well-presented box. Let's look at the other box. Okay, like a troll. Good luck troll. It, this is a Union Jack troll. We also have the picture of Thomas Dam again. And then there's the behind picture of the troll. Okay, so I like the front package of the box. And then we have a Union Jack troll with white hair. Okay, that's the description of the troll. Okay, it's also made from uh, ceramic and genuine sheepskin hair. So mind you, this is a breakable type of toy. So it's, it should be handled with care. Let us unbox the actual product. Okay, we're unboxing. The first troll with a brass colored body and a black hair. Black sheepskin hair. What will we see inside the box? Wow, on top, I think we have a leaflet of Like It Trolled Good Luck Troll. Let's open it. And there are several advertisements of classic trolls. That can be bought from Bisomer and the Good Luck Troll. Okay, these are their other product portfolio of a different kinds of trolls. Okay, so there are art trolls, Good Luck Trolls. So as you can see, you can this kind of troll can rival 
the collectible uh, the collectible prowess of bare bricks and cause right okay let's open it wow there is uh, an emblem of Denmark passport in which it is in the hand of the troll <laughs> also covered in plastic Denmark passport hello important information for you my hair is made out of real sheep skin so you can comb it wash it and even use hair products to style me just as you like your friend troll <laughs> passport issued by Thomas Dam family Gyol. okay let's try to unwrap it take it out in the meantime wow wow it's made out of brass it is painted in the brass colored and the sheepskin hair is quite thick let's try to comb it there are a few remaining artifacts from the covering <laughs> there you go at least it's a little quite clean from the styrofoam package okay, there you go like it it's quite shiny it's really it really looks like brass okay, that's the back Let's try to look for the logo. Maybe the logo is at the foot. Let's check it. Okay, there you go. Original dam produced by Sumer and DreamWorks Animation. Okay. Let's open the other box, which is the Union Jack Troll. Let's open it. Let's see if this one also has a sticker. I'm afraid not. We don't have any leaflets or stickers for that matter. <laughs> but also, it is also presented in a styrofoam package. Which really protects the ceramic toy. And usually, it, if it's ceramic, it's breakable. It's like a fine china. Okay, let's try to open the box. The packaging. There you go. And what I noticed is there is also no Denmark passport. Maybe because it's from Brit. It's from the UK. Because it's a Union Jack troll. It's a British flag. And the plastic is also different. Let's handle it carefully. Safety first. The package has a safety first guidelines written in different languages. Wow. I think this is really hand painted. Hand painted with a Union Jack flag. Wow. And it also ha has a white um, sheepskin here. What I notice is that this white sheep skin here is not quite as thick as the other one from the brass colored troll. See, it's a little quite um, thinner. It's the hair is thinner than from the black sheep skin hair brass colored troll. Wow! Let's try to look at the back. It's really hand painted. It's made of ceramic, special ceramic. So it's kind of um, fragile, it's breakable. Okay, at the foot, there's the logo, DreamWorks, and original dam produced by Sumer.
So this is from the Classic Troll. It has a height of 9 centimeters. It has a special ceramics. And the hair is a sheepskin hair. What the stories of the little troll is planting even entails the meeting with an American president and being a part of setting a world record and everywhere it goes it spreads joy amongst children and adults. And in the 1950s, Thomas Dam created that little troll with the hopes of it being a good luck charm for everyone that owned it. The good luck troll has real sheepskin hair that can be styled and washed. So this one is in the Occasional Trolls portfolio. It has a height of 9 centimeters. The material is also made from special ceramics and the hair is a sheepskin hair. This good luck troll was created in cooperation with Selfridges on Oxford Street in London. The British are known for their love for football, fish and chips, black caps, tea, their castles and for being so sweet and polite. The good luck troll is dressed in the colors of the Union Jack flag which dates back to 1606 when England and Scotland became united under the same monarch. Truly, the trolls are back and these are timeless heirlooms and collectibles that can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the bare bricks in terms of values and longevity. Please subscribe and hit the bell button to help me keep making these kinds of videos. Thank you!